The Deutsches Museum of Masterpieces of Science and Technology is one of the largest technology museums in the world. We have several branches in Munich, Bonn, and soon also in Nuremberg. We strive to present the complete spectrum of natural sciences and technology, beginning from the first clay brick kilns all the way through to nanotechnology. And we welcome about 1.5 million visitors per year, making us one of the most popular museums worldwide. My name is Georg Holman, and I'm responsible for digitization at the museum. About 10 years ago, we decided to put more of an emphasis on this field, exploring what we could offer in the virtual space as well as the physical. Today, Navis technology enables us to bring this new dimension to the Deutsches Museum. My name is Georg Schrott. I'm one of the managing directors and founders of Navis, and as chief technology officer, I'm responsible for products like the new Navis VLX. We built Navis VLX so that you can use it for reality capture in pretty much any environment. And the Deutsches Museum is a perfect testing ground, because here you can find anything you can imagine. There's a replica mine in the basement, and you have industrial machinery laid out in a complex environment plus the option to scan over several levels and crawl into small alcoves. You can find all that here. But we've also collaborated with other pilot customers who are very experienced surveyors with a considerable amount of expertise spanning decades. And they've given us invaluable feedback during our pilot series program. And all this input made it possible for us to quickly reach the right result, Navis VLX in its current form. When we first learned about Navis, our initial involvement was to lend support as a technology partner, acting as a sponsor for new, innovative ideas in science and technology. But we quickly realized there was also an opportunity for us to preserve the museum in its current state. Currently, the museum is undergoing an ambitious renovation project, which encompasses the entire site. We're going to redesign all exhibitions from the ground up. And that's when we realized that the scan data from Navis can be used for much more than just a virtual tour. We can use it to measure entire rooms. We have very precise data to do this because of the high quality point cloud of all our exhibits. So we're planning to cooperate with Navis even closer here to identify new use cases for the virtual model in relation to the construction work here in the building. For example, this ship here is staying, but all the aircraft will have to be taken out. We'll probably have to tear open the roof for that. In addition, we can also support the curators of the new exhibitions, who are beginning to think about how to bring the objects back in and where to position them in the new space. They can compare the scanned exhibits directly against their own models to visually assess the results.